So this is the second video for knitting socks on uh, straight needles or knitting flat. Um, okay, so I have already completed knitting the foot. Um, okay, so this is the side where I did the big foot uh, seaming. Okay. This is like knitted flat. Okay, so I have I have completed the length of the feet or the foot. Um, so refer the pattern if you want if you want or say if your feet is a bit longer so just increase the length um, you know, as required so I will now take you through the toe decrease okay so the pattern is written for each row so I know nothing very difficult it's quite easy so the first row is it says knit two then slip slip and knit okay so we will slip one stitch as if to knit the next one as if to knit and then we will knit these two stitches together so in this way we are you know uh, killing one stitch okay and then it says uh, knit 18 okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, and 18. Now the pattern says knit two together. Okay, so we'll do a knit two together. Again, killing one stitch. Then we will do knit two. Okay, and then SSK slip, slip, knit both the stitches together through the back loop and then knit 18 And then knit two together and the last this is knit okay row number two of the toe decrease is pearl all Okay, now row number three, knit one, slip, 
slip, slip and knit two, two stitches together through the back loop and then we will knit 16. Then we will do, okay, did I do 16? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, I did something wrong here, okay? So let me just, because this should be knit two and then SSK, okay? Let me just, un, or frog till here and then come back again. Okay, so I'm back again. So row number three, I did a mistake, so I frog it. So I had to do knit two. Okay, the first is, and then SSK. And then knit 16, okay. Two, three, four. And then we, we do a knit two together, then knit two, then SSK, okay, and then knit 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, knit two together, and then knit one. Now we are on row number four. So row number four is the wrong side, which is a pearl all row. So I'm going to complete this row and then come back to show you row number five. Okay. So I completed row number four. Now row number five, which is again the front side. So we do knit two, then SSK. Then this time we are going to do knit 14, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And then knit 2 together. Knit two, SSK, knit fourteen, together and then knit one so let me complete all the degrees and then I will come back to show you the last uh, you know the last row okay the last two rows actually so you can already see here that you know the shaping has already started so I'm going to complete this entirely just follow the pattern and the last uh, two rows I will knit again and then we will do the uh, big fort seaming. So now I have completed almost uh, all the decrease, toe decrease. 
So last only two rows are left. So this is row number 13. So for row number 13, I'm going to do knit two together. Okay, and then SSK. And then knit six. Knit two together. Knit two. SSK. Knit six. Knit two together. then the last is knit okay so we are done with all the decrease now I'm going to just purl one row which is the last row and then so this is purl all and after completing this we will do the same And we will try to sim it as nicely as possible to look like a socks which is knitted in the round. Okay, let me grab the needle, sewing needle. Okay, so we completed it. Now I'm going to cut this yarn like four times the length of this or maybe I'll, I'll make it five or six sometimes so but usually four times work okay so this is two times I'll make it like three make it half of it okay so just make sure that you have enough length of the yarn for the seaming okay and then you have to thread it onto a okay then now now this is the Kitchener stitch okay so for the toes we have to do the Kitchener stitch so divide these um, stitches in the half so you know that half is here so one one two three four five and one two three four five so ten each okay so uh, you can use uh, two needles uh, like flat but as I am I usually use circular needle for even knitting flat so I'm just pulling it out okay don't get confused with this okay so we have like we can consider this as you know two straight needles and now we are going to shoot this you know like we do it in Kitchener stitch okay uh, I should have I should have had more length actually for the seaming of the uh, brick for seaming also but let's see whether I have enough yarn or not okay so for Kitchener stitch uh, if you have a preferred video which is already done by somebody please feel free to uh, refer that the Kitchener stitch is the same so usually for me for uh, when I do it I make sure that my needles are like you know, at the same length like this together and then the first stitch what I do is I insert the needle as if to pull on the first needle and then I don't free that needle okay I don't free the stitch but usually people free the stitch uh, when they do a Kitchener stitch and then at the back of the uh, back needle on the first uh, stitch 
I insert the sewing needle as if to knit and then I don't free it again. Okay, so that, that was the first step. On the front needle, you insert the needle, uh, sewing needle, first stitch. Okay, so on the first stitch on the front, insert the needle as if to purl, don't free the stitch. On the back stitch, insert the needle as if to knit, don't free the stitch. That, that is my first step. In the second one, I'm going to insert the needle as if to knit and then I'm going to free the stitch. And before pulling out my yarn, this is how I do it, okay? But you can do it any way which you like. So, and then I insert the needle as if to purl like this, because this way it is easier for me to maintain the tension, okay? And then at the back side, insert the needle as if to purl, free the stitch, and then on the next stitch, insert the needle as if to knit. Okay, so this is, and this is the only thing you have to remember. So that is the repeat. Insert needle, knit wise, free the stitch. On the next stitch, insert needle, purl wise, like this. And then pull the yarn. Okay, and the next one is insert needle. I usually insert it from the back, okay, like this. Hopefully you can see it, okay? So I insert it from the back like this, as if to pull. And then on the next stitch, I insert it as if to knit. Let's do it one more time. Knit, free, pull. Pull from the back side or shape like this, okay? And then knit. Knit, free, purl. Purl, free, and then knit. So you can already see that the seam is quite nice. Okay, one more time. Just repeat it, okay? Knit, free, purl. Then pull free and knit. Knit free. Pull. Pull free and knit. Knit free. Pull. So at the back side, you can do it from like, like this from the back loop or, you know, you can just do it simple. Okay. So whichever you is preferred, it does not make much of a difference. Okay. Knit free pull. Pull free. Knit. Knit free pull and then pull free and then knit. So now we have only two stitches left. So I'm going to do knit free and then from the back side I will do pull. Okay, and then that's it. So I will pull the stitch. So usually you know, sometimes there is a slight ear here. Just what I do is, you know, I will insert my needle somewhere here, okay? And then I will pull it a little bit to see whether this ear is still forming or not, okay? 
So here you can see there is a small ear for me. Okay, there are many techniques which other YouTubers have or knitters have already done. So you can refer that or I usually find it which, which is the stitch which is making the ear. Okay, so if you see this is the one which is making this ear. Okay, so I will see maybe, you know, this one, not really. So you have to just make sure that you are pulling the one which is, okay, this one. Okay, I think I pulled the right one. So I pulled that a little bit on the wrong side and then I just insert this thread and hold it, you know, just to make sure that the ear is not propping out, you know, and then give you a smooth edge. I think this is good. So if you see it from here, so it is the front and it is quite good. Okay, so we are going to do the brick fort seaming now. But my uh, thread is this side. I want to do the brick fort seam this side. I'm not going to cut my yarn. I'll just carry it behind the work. If you prefer cutting the yarn, make, you can do it. Not necessarily you do the same thing as I do. Okay, so now my needle just traveled. Okay, now we are going to do the brick fort simming. Okay, it's fairly easy simming and it is quite nice. So in, in this one, this socks, you know, I didn't roll out the edge entirely because I wanted a more uh, smooth uh, or say more beautiful seam. So you can see in the inside, in the inside, there is a slight ridge, okay? It's not com uncomfortable as such, but there is a slight ridge. But what I'm going to do try this time is I'm going to roll out the edge entirely, okay? So, so that it gives a very smooth, uh, you know, very smooth edge, okay? So my yarn is here and then let's start, okay? So I will insert it from, okay, so roll out the edges of, you know, both the work, okay? So, and like, okay, this difficult to video and then, you know, to see, okay, like this, okay? So I'm rolling out the edge out, okay, of the work, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my needle on the first one from the outside to inside, okay? And then, done, okay? Now I'm going to insert the needle for the bottom side on this V, okay? From underneath to outside, okay? So this is done. This is the first one. Now from outside of the bottom okay and two inside of the so you can see that these two are you know because I'm holding it too tight so you cannot s figure out here but these are two edges okay see so I'm s holding it together like you know how it has to be so it's pretty simple I just do it like this and then from, if you are again not sure about it, just do it like, ah, oh, okay, it's going down. Okay, like, oof. I will also add, you know, another video from other, like, knitter who will show you um, brick for sim. But this is how I do it. I, I hold it, like, you know, quite close to make sure that, you know it looks like exactly the same it should be okay now I have this 
and then here outside to inside okay and then again here inside outside to inside from top to bottom okay and then the next one so just roll out okay because it's rolling in just try to roll out your edges okay properly like out out okay and then is pretty smooth okay You have to really roll out, okay? If you want a very smooth, uh, you know, inside. Like how I'm doing it with my fingers, okay? I roll out the edge. So let's see how it looks like inside. Wow, this is really nice. This is almost like you don't have a sim, you know. So it's pretty flat. And this is how when I uh, did the uh, big fort simming by rolling out the edge entirely. And in this, I didn't roll out the edge so much. And you can see you know the edge is here still so i think you know it's, it's just your preference which one you want to do i'm just hoping that i have enough yarn to cut off really squint my eyes when I am doing this because it's not easy to have the camera in front of you and you know do this tutorial but I hope like it's pretty easy so I hope it will not be you know, difficult to follow 
I'm not a great uh, <laughs> seamstress, I would say. Um, I, I don't like saving so much. So most of the project I do is just seamless. But this project I wanted to do for people who are not comfortable doing or knitting in the round or using magic loaf. I know I have lots of friends who are like that. Okay, almost done. We are almost here. So just to make sure that you know you have the length together okay because sometimes you know if you are not looking into it and then one side is longer than <laughs> the other side the edge so just to make sure that you are like you know on properly on both the edge you know at this same length okay just make sure roll out properly okay and i'm going to hold it like this Sorry, the video came down or my hand was <laughs> below the video. Okay, just a moment. I think this almost done. Okay, and then... Okay. I have only teeny mini yarn left on my sewing needle, but I will try my best to complete with this. And I hope I'm lucky <laughs> because I don't want to you know, see it again and then you know, I another thread. I think I will be able to do it. I have done it so I think it is good enough okay yay that that's it and then we are done with our socks knitted flat I think this is pretty amazing the seam is perfect almost you know it's it's not like uh, you know how it is knitted in the round i would i would say that but you know it's it's still not bad so you can see this is the one on the wrong side on the other side which is not see um, like same and this is the same one but it looks pretty nice i will not complain okay and i will finish this one inside Sometimes I like to just tie a knot like this. Okay, and then I will sew this inside. Okay.
Yay. Done. Okay. Got that. And that's it. So we have now a pair of socks, which is knitted flat. And it is quite nice. Okay. And I, I hope this is a basic, basic pattern. Okay. So I have not added any stitch or anything. This is plain stock in it because I want uh, people who are not, not sock knitters in the round, you know, uh, get to experience a German short row hill on flat. I hope you will enjoy it. If you enjoy it, you can drop a comment. And next time, you know, if I have enough people who are interested in this, next time I will design with more, uh, you know, defined stitches or different uh, stitches. So enjoy and have a good day. Bye-bye.